All right, so we had a couple of days of good rain. Um, got to see how uh, my new water harvesting feature over here works, and it's time to make the other ones. Um, thankfully, the rain's softened the ground up a little bit, so we can do our digging. Um, first thing I need to do before I do that digging is get this these final two boxes set in place and lined so that we have somewhere to put the dirt. So I'm going to get started on that. All right, so I got this garden box lined and set in place. Um, I've also thrown a little bit of dirt in there just to hold it in place. And uh, now it's ready for more. So it's time to start digging the water harvesting basins. And so where I'm going to start is where the water comes in. Um, if you noticed when it was raining, that water is just kind of pooling up on the, the patio here. It's being held back by this you know, rim of grass here. So I think I'm going to dig up um, a lot of the grass that's around here and put that in the bottom of the garden bed. That way the grass won't grow all the way up through. I don't want to put it in the top because then the grass in the gardens. But we've got to do something with it. So I'm going to start over here where the water comes in and dig that down enough that I can lay some of these uh, cement tiles in. And this will be kind of a pathway. This is kind of our main pathway getting into the backyard. So if we need to wheelbarrow something, it'll be a nice surface for that to roll across. And that water is going to come from that gutter, um, roll across these tiles and into a pit where I'm standing here. So I'm going to get started on that. So we've uh, finished kind of pulling up some of the grass from this area, but it's kind of getting lost about where to dig next. So we've got some bender board and we've kind of laid it out um, along where the edges of the paths are going to be. So this will help me kind of visualize uh, where the basins are going to go. So there'll be one in here inside this bender board, another one in here. Uh, the back side we haven't quite figured out yet, but this will be the front border. And that way we can know where our paths are going to go. The paths are a little bit higher. It's kind of mounded up in the middle of the yard here, so I want to figure out how to deal with that elevation change. But this is a good way to visualize it. Alright, so we've uh, continued the digging back here in the yard for these infiltration basins. Uh, this one over here, last night I kind of roughed that out. I'm trying to rough out just the shapes of them right now. And I'm running into a problem I often do when working in flat backyards like this is where do we put all the dirt that we're moving to make these elevation changes. So I've built these boxes for that purpose but they're honestly starting to fill up. Um, I put the final tier on this. There's a little bit more room in here but we want to top that off with this good soil that's over here. So we'll have to find somewhere else to move this dirt. That's another problem that has arise but we'll find a solution. Um, what's next right now is we're going to try to transplant these artichokes right here. As you can see this started from an artichoke years ago. Here's the original one right there, that little stump. And it's just put off little pups, so there's three of them here right now. And they give us delicious artichokes every year. So we're going to try to save this and move it into that small box over there. Um, and try to keep as much of the roots intact. So we're just going to cut a big square um, all around this that will fit into the shape of that planter over there. And try to lift it up and put it in the wheelbarrow and save it as much of its roots as, as we can. As you can see, we've cut a lot of the leaves off already. Just to, um, because we are going to cut a lot of its root system out, we don't want it to have to support so many leaves. So, trimmed it up, give it the best chance to survive. So, here we go. go she fell apart a little bit more than wanted it to but I think enough of the root balls in there to 
uh, keep her alive. So we're going to water it in right now real well and maybe give it some uh, worm juice from our worm coaster. Help it get nice healthy root system going.